right, man, before the review gets started, I need to cover a couple things. The B-roll that you're about to watch is not my B-roll because like I mentioned at the beginning of my review, my controller died and I don't have any spare AA batteries on me and I can't go out and buy any because it's one o'clock in the morning. So yeah, man, I just have to live with it until tomorrow because my controller is, is dead. Yes, I can charge it, but I, I don't know. For some reason, my controller's not charging. So I have to replace the batteries but anyway before all that happened i forgot to record b-roll for myself so i have to use someone else's with that being said the quality might not be that great because i'm having to use someone else's b-roll through youtube to mp4 converters i'm trying different youtube to mp4 converters and the quality is kind of iffy so yeah man just a heads up on that another thing right my nose is kind of stuffy right now so i might be sounding weird if you can hear it i'm sorry but if you don't you don't i hope it's not that big of a deal but with that being said just wanted to give you guys a heads up and enjoy the review all right man respectfully i don't see how you xbox players can do it for real i was in the middle of playing this game and my controller died now of course i don't have any spare batteries on me i don't have any spare double a batteries on me and it's one o'clock in the morning so i can't go out and buy some so since my controller is charging i'm like let me go ahead and review it since the game is fresh on my mind because i was in the middle of playing it and this game is so good that i had to tell my co-workers about it i had to tell my friends and family about it i love this game and it's so refreshing when you get a game that good to the point you be out in public or you be at work or you're out with family or friends and it's so refreshing to have a great game on your mind to the point you go like yo i can't wait to get home to play that i love having a game that's so good it, it puts a smile on my face when i'm in public like man when i get home i'm getting on kanitsu I'm getting on some Kanitsu when I get home. I know a lot of people probably have that feeling, or maybe it's just me, but I don't know. But I know a lot of people probably have that feeling. Yo, when I get home, man, I'm getting on some Tekken. Yo, when I get home, man, I'm getting on some Call of Duty Warzone. Yo, when I get home, man, I'm getting on some... I don't fucking know, but you get my point, bro. It's so refreshing when you go out in public and you just have that good game on your mind. And Kanitsugami gave me that feeling. And I love it, man, because this is definitely going to be in my top three game of the year at the end of this year, right? So here's the thing, man. I'm going to go by categories. Here on this channel, I go by graphics, gameplay, and I just talk about the overall game in general, right? Graphics. For the people that's new to my channel, graphics, that is just the name of the category. I talk about how the game looks in general. So the graphics, I love the way they look. I love it, man. I love Yoshiro, the goddess. I love her character design. I love the design of the villagers and their roles. I love that, man. And I especially love the stage designs. I love the way the enemies are designed. I love the way the characters are designed, man. I love the way the stages are designed. And graphics, they're just a visual thing, so I can't speak much on the graphics. They're just visuals, so all I can say, in my opinion, is that they look great. I love the way the stages look. I love the way the graphics look. I love the way the characters look. Um, everything in between. I just love how the game looks in general. Um, the vibe of the game is dope. I love the vibe with the game. I love the Japan setting. I love the samurai setting. I just love how the game looks overall. But like I said, can't say much, can't go into detail because graphics are a visual thing. So all I can say is I love the visuals with the game and all I can do is leave it there. So gameplay. I don't think I've played a game like this before. I don't remember. If I did, I, I don't remember, man. But this game is so unique for me, right? I don't think I've ever played a game like this before, man. But I love how you can set different classes for these villagers and place them wherever you want on the map. I love that or stage, whatever you want to call it. I love how you can set different classes for the villagers and set them wherever you want. Now, of course, I don't remember the names of each class, but I know there's a healer, there's a um, woodcutter, you know, that slices for you. Like he'll go and cut up enemies. Um, there's a healer, of course. 
trying to remember just the sumo that he'll get enemies to come towards him like to keep him away from the queen that's really dope and then you have the what's my dude name um, I forgot his name, but he's really dope. He can, like, slow the enemies down. Like, he'll um, do a move, and he'll slow enemies down. And you got the... Ooh, you got my dudes with the gun. They can shoot anything from long range. Yes, their attacks are slow, but they're deadly, and I love them. Of course, you got the archers. Um, you have... You have classes that I don't use. Like, I don't use the thief, and I don't use the... Um, What's that other dude? I forgot what he does. I don't I don't use the spearmen. I don't use the spearmen. I don't know. For some reason, I feel like they're useless. I know a lot of people would disagree with that, but I think they're just useless to me. Maybe I'm wrong, but I, I don't know. I just don't feel like using them. And you don't have to, which is another thing I love about this game, bro. But of course, I didn't beat the game yet. I feel like I'm close, but I didn't beat the game yet. So of course, I haven't unlocked every class. But so far, all the classes I've unlocked, I really, really love, except the Thief and the Spearman. But yeah, I love it, man. And it's so goddamn amazing. I love how much freedom I have with this game. Like, what I love to do, how I play the game, is I'll go into a stage, and if the stage is, like, confusing or is um, harder than other stages, what I love to do is I'll examine the stage you know, I'll be like, okay, enemies are coming out from this gate. Okay, enemies are coming out this way. Okay, enemies, they're going to come over here. Okay, enemies, some enemies might loop around. And I love how much freedom you have, man. It's whatever you want to do. Okay, put a sumo over here so the sumo can call them over to keep them away from the queen or the goddess. Keep them away from the goddess and, you know, you'll kill them, right? Like, it is so amazing. Okay, put an archer over here and put... um my other dude over here who slows the enemies down put him over here and get some wood cutters i love that okay put wood cutters around the gate so they can kill enemies coming through have a healer behind them it is so amazing it is so amazing man all right or you can have wood cutters sometimes what i love to do if i'm trying to speed run a stage sometimes what i love to do is i'll put wood cutters all over the um queen goddess i don't know why i keep calling her queen but this game is amazing. The freedom. The freedom is so dope. And I love how they'll add new things to keep the game fresh and to not make it feel too repetitive. And let me use this example right here before I forget. There's a stage in the game where they take your villagers away from you and you have to fight alone. You can set traps and stuff like that, but there is a part in the game where they take your villagers, all of them, away from you temporarily, and you have to fight by yourself. Now at first, of course, this pissed me off, but then when I finally got through the main stage and I got to the, to the boss, I was so in love with how they did this. You went one-on-one -on -one with the boss in a sword fight and it was so dope learning his attack patterns and doing different things to you know kill him i love that bro he had two phases one where you were sword fighting him and then you had to dodge um some really long attacks when he switched to his second phase and it was so dope i love that man really really love that now one of the things i love about this game is the chills that it gives me for real i love how responsible you are for protecting the goddess that is so dope and of course since you're one person you are controlling one samurai you can't see everything right so the game will warn you when the enemies are getting closer and as the enemies are getting closer she will start you know the goddess she will start saying things like so come help me or please help and the way she says it it is so fucking creepy it really is man every time the goddess needs help she will start calling your name she will start calling for help and the way she does it she will send chills down your fucking arm every time she calls for help i'm just bro i can barely hold my controller so i can't show a clip because as enemies are getting closer to her she won't you know she won't say anything because she's like asleep um because her condition so i wish i could show y'all an example 
but right now I can't, so I apologize. But yeah, man, trust me. Either I don't know, go watch a walkthrough or play the game for yourself. It's on Game Pass, but go play the game for yourself. Game Pass if you want to try it. Um, there's a YouTube walkthroughs, and you will see what I'm talking about. Let the enemies. Well, I'm saying let the enemies. I'm sure because the game is pretty challenging. Um, but wait for the enemies to get closer to the goddess and she will say it and trust me you will get chills all right maybe you will maybe you won't but i did you feel me in my opinion it gives you chills but yes i love the gameplay and i also love how you get to help like you're playing as a samurai and you get to help protecting the goddess it is really dope because the game could have went down a route where you had to watch and see how the situation unfolds because I've never played a game like this before. At least I don't think so. But I feel like this game could have went down the route of, oh, just let them watch. Like, let them set villagers where they want them to be and watch how it unfolds. But you can't help. But I love how you get to control the samurai and you get to help. I think that adds depth to the game, man. To be honest, um, I would still love the game, but I don't think I would love it as much if, you know, you couldn't help. Like, you just had to sit there and watch how it unfolds. Like, you can set villagers where you want them to be, but other than that, you know, you can't do much. Just set them where you think they'll be best at, but that's it. I mean, some people might be okay with that, and I'll learn to live with it if the game was like that, but um, at the end of the day, man, I just love how you get to help. Like... You can set villagers and you get to play and help them protect the goddess. I really love that. I think that's dope. Also, I really love this about the game. I don't know. It just gives me a sense of accomplishment. I love how after you complete a stage, you get to set villagers to help rebuild it. I really love that, man. And so far, I'm doing great. I think I got like, um, as far as I am into the game, I think I got like eight out of ten of my of my bases clear 100 percent so i love that sense of accomplishment really love that man and i love how you can i think i'm gonna save that for overall game but with gameplay i really really love that i love that man it gives me a sense of accomplishment and i love how you can upgrade each um villagers class i love that i have my woodcutter maxed out i have my healer maxed out i have my um my marksman maxed out with the gun i'm trying to level up my archer i'm still leveling up my sumo of course my thief and my spearman is still on zero because i don't use them which is hilarious and i have my my dude um my dude that slows the enemies down he's like he's at dang 50 percent. i'm trying to max him out too because i love him um, I love the priest. Like he, he is so dope. And that's another thing, right? Other than the thief and the spearman, I know people would disagree with that. But other than the thief and the spearman, I love how I would feel like a, a class is useless. Like at first, I thought the sumo was useless. I'm gonna be honest. I thought he was useless. Same thing with the priest. I thought the priest was useless, but. I love how the game proved me wrong. I need the sumo. I need him. He's keeping enemies away from the goddess. I love the sumo. The priest, he's like stopping enhanced um, enemies. He's stopping the enhanced enemies. Because these enhanced enemies, they will come through. They're faster. They're stronger. And the priest is there to stop them. I love that. Who else I thought was useless at first? Um... I had the thief and I had the spearman for a while and I still don't see the point of them. Like, why would you need a spearman when you have a woodcutter? I know people going, um, you know, disagree with that. I, I mean, if I'm using the spearman wrong, then, you know, let me know. I just don't see the point in the spearman, but I think that's the amazing thing about the game, bro. It's like your game, play the way you want to play. Now, can I just talk about me loving how the game operates in general i just love how the game operates as a whole i love how you have all day all day throughout you know the video games time when i say all day you i think you have like i don't know how it works in real time i haven't been keeping track of it but i think you have like uh, three to five minutes to set everything up I, I don't know maybe longer maybe less i hadn't been keeping track of time like i said this game is so time consuming to the point you'll sit there and you'll be playing this game all day and you won't even know it. 
it is so goddamn time consuming but anyway i love how you have all day and video game time really five minutes short time you have all day to set up everything you have all day to free villagers and set different roles for the villagers you free and you have all day to get different crystals and try to unlock different stuff like you you get different crystals and you can use that to unlock different classes and use the crystals to buy different classes that you want the villagers to be i love that love how you can have villagers set up stuff and i love how you can have this one dude uh, set up defenses you can have him repair defenses and stuff like that repair lanterns to give your characters who are in around the lantern um, a power boost and stuff like that I just love how the game works but you have all day to set that up and it's just amazing and then before nighttime falls you gotta you gotta set everything up bro and that's one of the personal things I love about this game it gives me Demon Slayer vibes gameplay wise right because you know how in Demon Slayer demons only come out at night same thing with this game the enemies they only come out at night so I really love how this game just operates as a whole. I love Kanitsugami. Now let's go to the overall game, bruh. I just love this game in general. I love how you can go visit the goddess and you can start feeding her sweets. And I love that you can go to the goddess, um, put sweets on her plate. And then she'll start eating the sweets, man. I just think that's dope, man. Add something to the game, bro. I don't know, man. That adds some life to the game. Just, you know, you can unlock the different sweets. Go visit the goddess. And while you're there talking to the goddess, well, not talking, but while you're visiting the goddess, because they don't talk, but you're visiting the goddess, you can save your game. You can upgrade your classes or upgrade your samurai. You can set different stuff. You can do different stuff. You can set different enhancements. While you're doing all of that, I love how you can feed the goddess and you know she'll pick up the plate start eating and as soon as she's done she's gonna thank you for the food I love that like I said it just adds life to the game it just adds something to the game bro really really love that man and overall I just love how the game is I really love that just that freedom of gameplay and I love how you can do what you want I love how I can do different routes in this game as soon as I beat the game I'm gonna replay it and try different stuff now I'm currently playing the game on game pass, but this game is so good I might go ahead and buy it in general. I might even buy it on my ps5 I don't know because that's the system I be on the most so I might buy it on ps5 But who knows? Uh, yeah, if I buy it on ps5 I don't mind starting over because this game is great Like I love this game and I'm gonna be playing this game for a while I mean the next game I'm planning on buying is the um the time I got reincarnated as a slime game that comes out August 8th and then after that I'm buying um Star Wars Outlaws I'm actually getting two copies of Star Wars Outlaws so I gotta get on that I gotta pre-order a physical copy and I gotta get my digital copy I'm getting a pre-order not pre-order I'm getting a physical copy because what happened with Ubisoft with the crew too but anyway man um, I think that's all I got, but this game is amazing. I definitely recommend Kanitsugami Path of the Goddess. I give this game a 100 out of 10. A 100 out of 10. Let me give it my Metacritic score. A 1 million percent. A 1 million percent, bro. I This game is so fucking good. It really is, man. This game is definitely gonna be on my best games list I if not my game of the year definitely top three okay I doubt it's gonna be my game of the year come on now uh, Star Wars Outlaws I can't wait to get my hands on that and when Dragon Ball Sparky Zero comes out I know that's gonna be my game of the year overall but this game right here would definitely be on that list it will but it's your boy Duck. I'm out and even if it's not in my top three it's definitely gonna be around that area so yeah, it's your boy Delta, I'm out.